Former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton says it could be a false flag operation. What exactly does that mean? Let me ask the ambassador himself, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., John Bolton, is here. Welcome back, ambassador. Glad to be with you. So uh, here you say that uh, the intelligence has been politicized. Uh, what exactly do you mean by, about, with that statement in regards to the CIA? Well, I think we've seen over eight years of the Obama administration a lot of politicization dealing with the attack in Benghazi on September the 11th, 2012, pressuring uh, Central Command intelligence officers to fit the facts to the Obama administration narrative that the terrorist threat is declining and, and a whole host of other things. So it bothers me when we see a rush to conclude in what I think is a very complex situation. Yeah. Uh, that for sure it was the Russians, no doubt about it. It's a slam dunk. Well, if that were the case, don't you think the FBI would have come to the same conclusion? Or have both of these agencies been so compromised in politics that we can't get a straight assessment from either? No, not necessarily. And I think it's legitimate for intelligence agencies, the, uh, the 16 or 17 that exist, to have different points of view. In fact, yeah. when they move too rapidly toward a consensus, uh, I get nervous. I think it's important to ask, and this was the point I was trying to make, whether a Another foreign intelligence service other than Russia yeah. might have conducted this operation and left evidence behind that pointed to Russia to get them in the soup. Well, that's one of my questions because if you say conclusively too soon that it is Russia and it was either a domestic actor or China or perhaps North Korea, don't you stop looking at uh, those other sources of hackery? Well, some other people would, would certainly stop looking and especially yeah. because it fits the right political narrative. And I think people are taking advantage of this for their own purposes. I mean, I feel in the past 20 24 hours I've been taken advantage of by a political reporter who knows nothing about national security yeah. saying basically I was accusing the Obama administration of hacking the DNC and the RNC. I didn't say that. I didn't believe it. I don't believe I, it today. I didn't get that from your statement. Not, but neither did most people, but, but some did, and, uh, and now it's a phenomenon. So I think it's important to investigate what happened here. Yeah. I noticed that Senator McConnell has now said, although he won't set up a select committee, he wants the Senate Intelligence Committee to look into it. I think that that's right. I think the new incoming CIA director, Mike Pompeo, is going to have a heavy responsibility here to look at what happened and decide what the facts well, are. Well, do you think the fact that a lot of these people will be out of jobs, including at the NSA and CIA, uh, they're being sort of retroactively defensive of the whole operation to sort of cover their own legacy. Well, I just have watched, for example, John Brennan, the director of the CIA, yep. follow the administration's political line on why are, radical why is he Islam. Doing that? Why, is there, why is there so much dovetail between the CIA and the Obama administration? Well, I think because there's been an impermissible mixing of policy and intelligence. Yeah. There's, there's not a, a completely clear line, but I think this, uh, this politicization, which comes from the top down, has been a real problem and it will be difficult for the new administration but I think an important task for the president-elect to change that. Yeah. Uh, intelligence doesn't determine policy and policy shouldn't determine intelligence. Absolutely. I mean, we would like to see those things separated, but if the Obama administration feels like the FBI threw the race uh, in Trump's favor by coming out saying they're continuing with the Hillary investigation and therefore that they were politically misaligned with the ad administration, doesn't it make sense that they would use an agency that is aligned with them to sort of refute what the FBI was saying and cover Obama's legacy? Well, if that happened, that would be the worst abuse of the CIA in yeah. history. It would put Richard Nixon to shame, really, in many respects. Uh, look, nothing surprises me about this administration, especially with six weeks to go and no political consequences electorally. All right, Ambassador, thank you very much Try for your time. Can't wait to argue with you about pot very soon, so please <laughs> come back. Anytime. Excellent.